and all you dairy farmers with your fresh milk every day and your fresh homemade cheese and yeah yeah take that so the alarm just went off and we're up i'm not sure why we've got uh, beef cows not dairy cows so don't have to get up early in the morning but actually Bridget has to go to work today in town uh down in the city so we had to wake up early anyway for her to get ready for that and so we're gonna have some coffee and start the day. Mmm, enjoying my coffee this morning. And that's one of the advantages of having beef cows versus dairy cows on a homestead. I don't have to rush out and milk the cows. I don't have to do anything today with the cows if I don't want to, because we gave them uh, a round bale of hay yesterday and made sure their waters were all topped up. So I've got a few days where I don't have to check on them at all. Well, I do, but I don't have to. So, yeah, no milking for me this morning, so I can just relax and get ready for work and take my time. So that kind of brings us into number two, the advantages of beef versus dairy cows on a homestead. Beef cows, you don't have to do anything with them every day. You can throw them a hay bale, throw them, well, you can't really throw them water, but you can make sure their water troughs are filled up. And they're basically good to go until they need more water and more hay, which is usually, depending on the weather, it's, you know, you can go a uh, weekend, you can go three days, you can sometimes go a week, depending on the weather. However, with a dairy cow, you kind of have to go out every day to milk that dairy cow and continue to look after that dairy cow every day with the milking. Um, if they're not, if they didn't get pregnant, then obviously you're not milking right now, but um, usually the main difference is beef cows, you don't have to do anything with them every day. Uh, and if they're out on pasture too, like if they've got a stream or something and they've got really good pasture you might have not have to do anything for a few weeks maybe check in and on them but um yeah you can go away you can get off the homestead whereas dairy cows you can't do that you can't leave the homestead if you're milking unless you got someone to come in and milk for you so that kind of brings us to the third advantage of beef over dairy cows is when you're milking you need a barn or a shelter a shed some sort of stanchion somewhere to hold the cows or shelter yourself so when you are milking it's much easier to do so you can feed the cows while you're doing it or you can stay out of the rain I mean it's not necessary I've seen people where they've got a stool and a bucket and they've done it with the cow tied up to a tree yes you can do it is it easy well not really it's not much nicer to have a facility or somewhere where the cow is held the cow is distracted the cow can eat and it's much nicer for yourself to be able to do that milking which brings us to number four the advantage of beef cows on a homestead over dairy cows is the cleaning of that milking equipment whether you have just a bucket or you have the old school suction cups and that sort of stuff, it, uh, you have to keep that clean. You have to sterilize it every day and look after it. You gotta store it somewhere. We don't have the same problem with the dairy, with our beef cows is that we don't have to worry about keeping stuff clean every day. Odin wants to play with the baby, but mom says no. And with that, I would say number five would be, 
I think dairy cows require a bit more investment up front. So you do need to maybe put up that shelter or the barn or some sort of mobile milking station or you know you have to get the equipment to milk with so i'd say there's probably a little more investment involved in getting your dairy cow up front versus getting your beef cows that said we do have the crush that we had to buy we've got the fences we need to look after we've got four cows right now five cows versus say one or two dairy cows even just one dairy cow that you can you know look after and artificially inseminate where we have to have well we can now artificially inseminate but we we choose to have the bull so i guess the investment might be similar on a homestead definitely not in a commercial setting though so. now the other thing with beef cows versus dairy cows is beef cows are just cooler i think sorry to all you dairy farmers in your rubber boots and my aunt and uncle who dairy farm but i just think beef cows are a little bit cooler than dairy cows you never see a good western movie based on dairy cows have you i'll wait if you have put it in the comments and i'll check it out but i'm pretty sure there isn't a really classic western based on driving dairy cows or anything like that i don't think and then to top it off not like there were highlands in a western but and you get into that cool factor as soon as you say you have highlands everyone freaks out they're like oh how we want to pet them we want to come see them oh it's just something about the nostalgia or you know mystique around the highland cows that makes people want to come visit you or get to know you or be able to pet them and that sort of thing so not the same as uh in the westerns but you know such is life hey guys if you like this one make sure to get down here and check this one out eight reasons why you should have highland cows